Can I introduce a man that needs no introduction? This is Dan Locke, an LGFG fashion house, is very honored uh, to be designing a wardrobe for a man that can probably design a better wardrobe all by himself because he's got such a sterling image. And I do want to say one thing before we roll into this. We're both from Vancouver. Yes. And we both have an interesting origin story, immigrating to Vancouver. That's right. Hustling uh, to build businesses. Yes. And I think it's not by accident. And you were co-calling in the, in the Fentall building. The non, non-stop, yeah. Yes. I remember Gowlings on 27, just riding the elevators, getting kicked out. I think you haven't made it as a salesperson until you've been kicked out of a building or a, or a neighborhood. That's right. Oh, they ban you from coming in again. <laughs> you know, when it, when, it says, when it says no soliciting, I just that's my favorite place to go because that's I right. know I'm going to show up. A salesperson shows up. Um, but Dan, I, I think our audience already knows who you are, but I think it'd be really, really cool if, uh, if you could still introduce yourself to some of the folks that are about to find out who Dan Locke is. Mm -hmm. It's funny because I think you first got to know me as the red suit guy, yes. right? That's how I got known for. Uh, it was my uh, TEDx talk, mm. right? And a lot of people got to know me on social media because of that. And a lot of people refer me to that. Mm. And I always call that my, my Iron Man suit, right? Uh, because at the time, I knew in order to stand out, I need to dress apart. I need to look different and just like your philosophy you look good you feel good they pay you good right and i always say one of my mottos you can't get rich looking poor yeah. so i think in order to close better it's more effective just looking good feeling good having the confidence and you'll be more effective as a salesperson as an entrepreneur as well so i'm excited to do this collaboration yeah. with you and see where this goes i'll tell you guys a, a quick story my first story when i realized clothing was important i was selling door to door on the bridal path you know the bridal path in toronto yes. lawrence and Bayview, and we're talking about 20 million dollar homes and every single day the police would show up and uh, and kind of check if you know i am who i say i am and eventually i got to know the officer because he's like dude you're knocking on doors on 20 million dollar houses so i called my sales manager my sensei at the time and i said uh you know i keep getting the police stopping me nobody's taking me seriously he goes well look at how you're dressed so I said, well, going door to door, I want to be pretty casual. He's like, not in that neighborhood, man. So I dressed up like I got a pair of clean khakis, a nice polo shirt, a belt, you know, yeah. everything, beautiful shoes. Nice. Had my best week in sales to date ever on the bridal path. I sold books to Doug Gilmore. They let me into their gated community and KY Ho, who was running ATI at the time. Mm -hmm. uh, all of these extreme celebrities uh, started taking me seriously. And I thought, wow. There is something connected between the psychology that I have as a salesperson, the way that people perceive me, and to my ability to be successful. I thought that's pretty important. And yes, not even nowadays, a lot of times we do meetings virtually, and people tend to be mm. casual, right? But that doesn't mean you cannot dress to impress, even when you're closing through the camera, through, the, through even telephone, whatever it might be, even through the, the, the webcam. It makes a difference. Now you could be wearing your underwear underneath; doesn't yeah, matter. Sure. But at the top, you want to you want to dress apart. You never get a second chance to make a first impression. Here's a question I would ask young salespeople when they tell me, "Oh, I don't want to intimidate people by dressing up." I'll say, "Would you want to do business with a bad salesperson? Like, would you buy a product from a salesperson?" And I'm not saying this to be disparaging, but would you want to buy a product from a salesperson who was poor? Yeah. Probably he's not very good at his job. Yeah. And even if you're not, it doesn't hurt to signal that you aspire to be good. It's very important. 